Could robots be the dominant form of life in the universe? When first contact is made, will it be with biological creatures or profoundly sophisticated and intelligent robots or artificial life forms? Though hundreds of scientists and philosophers are heralding the impending singularity or birth of the first self-aware computer, few futurists outside of sci-fi writers are talking about the possibility that artificial intelligence is already out there and has been so for a millennia. Most people have an iconic idea of aliens as these biological creatures, but that doesn't make any sense from a time scale argument. Susan Schneider, a professor of philosophy at the University of Connecticut. Think about it. By the time a civilization learns to send radio signals, they're already a hop, skip, and jump away from upgrading their own biology. As soon as civilization invents radio, they're within 50 years of computers, then probably only another 50 to 100 years from inventing AI. At that point, soft, squishy brains become an outdated model. Sex Shostak, SETI. Take human beings, for example. Aside from our own rapidly developing computer technology, we have new developments in neural implants, brain-computer interface, biological and quantum computing. Our own singularity is at hand. So imagine an alien civilization much older with technology far more advanced than ours. Many astronomers believe that if an alien civilization is already radio hot, then they are probably thousands to millions of years older than we are. The way you reach this conclusion is very straightforward. Consider the fact that any signal we pick up has to come from a civilization at least as advanced as we are. Now let's say conservatively, the average civilization will use radio for 10,000 years. From a purely probabilistic point of view, the chance of encountering a society far older than ourselves is quite high. Seth Shostak. So, if we already have very sophisticated computer technology, which we develop relatively quickly and are on the verge of the singularity or the birth of artificial sentience, then a civilization 10,000 years older than ours has definitely developed and deployed true artificial superintelligence, which, believe it or not, many very smart people still question the possibility of self-aware computers. Skeptics feel that we know so little about the neurological basis for consciousness that it's almost impossible to predict whether it's possible to replicate artificially, while believers feel that if it's in nature, it can be done artificially. I believe the brain is inherently computational. We already have computational theories that describe aspects of consciousness, including working memory and intention. Schneider, uh, Susan Schneider, University of Connecticut. Also, given a computational brain, I don't see any good argument that silicon instead of carbon can't be an excellent medium for experience. So let's say artificial, intelligent, alien robots do exist. Where do they live? What are they doing? So far we've pointed antennas at stars that might have planets that might have breathable atmospheres and oceans and so forth. But if we're correct that the dominant intelligence in the cosmos is artificial, then does it have to live on a planet with an ocean? Seth Shostak. If you think that, then you may not have to look for planets that can sustain life in order to find life. All artificial life forms we need are raw materials. They might be in deep space, hovering around a star, or feeding off a black hole's energy at the center of the galaxy, Chef so Seth Shostak. In other words, alien life could be anywhere. 